Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to do a photo manipulation tutorial for beginners. Uh, I'm not going to try and make it too complicated, but I think it'll look pretty good and I think you'll like it, so let's get started. So I brought in four photos. I'm going to show you all the photos I brought in and it's all from stock photos and the links will be in the description below. So I brought in this sun photo, this girl, and I have these dolphins. So I'm going to start with the sun photo. I, I like to keep my originals. So what I do is I keep them a whole set of originals as a backup in case I make a mistake. So I'm going to duplicate this control command J and that would bring my sun photo back. I'm going to bring it to the top and I'm going to show it. So right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my background. And I'm thinking for now, I'm just going to keep it here. I'm not going to get crazy with it. Later on, I'll be manipulating it. And then I'm going to take this girl. What I did was I cut her out and this is what I ended up with. I increased her size just like this. And I'm trying to speed this up so we don't go too crazy here. And then I went to the selection brush tool and started to just drag along and do the refine the whole bit like I did in the past. And we don't need the bottom. We only need up to the laptop. So let's see how I'm going to do this. And actually, this was a pretty easy selection. But I'm not going to get really into it. I'll just refine edge the whole bit. But what I ended up with, let's deselect that. What I ended up with was this. And I am going to take a copy of this one. Control of Command J. Put this on top. So that now we have these two. And I'll hide my originals. And I need a position for her. So I'm putting her approximately, I think right about here. And we'll, we can adjust that later and we'll see where this goes. I might need to bring her down a little. I might need to change her size a little. But let's just for now put her right there. I also brought in some dolphins. Control or Command J and move that to the front. And let's take these dolphins now. And what I'll do is I will cut them out. I'd like to darken it a little just to kind of get it to this coloration. Let's try curves. Let's see how dark we can bring this down and maybe a little bit lighter. We're really only concerned with the dolphins fitting in with the color and we don't have to go that dark. Get a little bit of lightness here, but I wanted them to be a little bit darker like that, I think. I think that kind of works. So now what I can do with the dolphins is select them. So let's see with the selection. And this one's pretty easy because since there's water behind it, let me make my brush bigger. I'm using my right bracket to make it bigger. Since there's water behind it, I can even take some of that water. We can fix that later. So I'm going to grab some of this water with them. And I don't want so much water, so I'm going to hold my Option key and kind of click around here and get rid of some of that water, like right about there. And then I'm going to do Refine. And that looks like I'm missing a little bit up here. I think the mouth was missing. And I'm thinking this looks pretty good. So I usually like to smooth it out, maybe one pixel and one pixel feather. And I'm going to say apply. And I really should have said apply it mask, but let's just put the mask on right now and deselect. So here we have our dolphins now. And let's shrink them down. And we don't need all this stuff on the side. So once I put them in place, I'm just going to get rid of that things on the side. I'm going to kind of have them see she's looking down at them. I'm going to kind of have them go like this. I just want to make sure the dolphins maybe even smaller, like right down here. And I want to make sure she's looking down at them. So I think that looks pretty good. And since I'm happy with that, I am actually going to rasterize that. And then I'm just going to get rid of the sides here. I rasterize it because then I can cut out what I want to cut out. 
I could have masked, but this is so much easier. So <laughs> I'm even gonna cut some of this out. So now we have our dolphins and they're a little dark and that's what I wanted because that's kind of what this water is kind of dark here. So I think that looks pretty decent. I want the sky to go all the way up. So I didn't want to rasterize the background yet. Whoops, I'm on the wrong one. Let's hide this. So I'm going to take this photo and convert to curves. As long as it's an image and not a pixel layer, you can convert to curves. So convert to curves. And when you convert to curves, now you can go to the node tool. And I am going to take this and drag it right up just like that and basically it's duplicating that last line i just wanted it to be bigger that's all there's a line and some streaks but we'll take care of that later i might want to lower her just a little bit more so she's really looking right down at them so now let's take that photo again now now that it's converted to curves uh we still can't copy and cut and paste unless we rasterize it so now i'm going to rasterize it let's name them so we know what we're dealing with. And then this is girl, woman. I'll say woman. <laughs> How's that? Better than girl. And this is dolphins. I'm going to take this background layer and I'm going to rasterize it because it, otherwise I can't um, do selections from it. So I'm going to rasterize. In fact, I wonder if I could rasterize and trim. I can. So when you rasterize and trim, all that extra stuff is gone. Now that it's rasterized, we can select the water with our selection tool. I'm just going to go right up to here and maybe here and do control or command J, command D, I'm deselecting. And now we have another copy of the water. So what we can do now is move that in front of her. What we can do now is first lower the opacity so you could see where she is. And I'll just put a mask on it. Now, make sure your, uh, your paintbrush has black and white. You hit D, and no matter what colors you have here, your foreground and background are black and white. And you take a paintbrush, and I'm going to use a soft brush, which is zero, just a regular round brush. I'm going to make it fairly big. And I'm going to get rid of all of this, but not near the bottom. I want to kind of have it a little bit in front of her like that. So you could see that she's partially in the water right here. I'm also going to take her and I'm going to duplicate her control or command J. And then I'm going to arrange flip vertically. So she's upside down. I'm going to bring her down like somewhere down here. I am going to also take her the upside down one put it behind her and i'm going to do right here perspective tool and i'm just going to kind of bring this kind of out and i'll say apply and then i will also go to live filters maybe a ripple and that's way too much i'm going to ripple to maybe a three or a four like that so it looks like waves now with the woman selected, what I'm going to do is add a mask. And on that mask, make sure the mask is selected. We take a paintbrush and make sure that it's black. I'm going to use a really saw hardness of zero. And actually, I may cut down the opacity to half, around half. And I'm going to make this brush really big, really like that, so you could see. And I'm going to start fading away some of her, because as she goes deeper, you see less of her less of her reflection. And that's basically the reflection that's on top of the water because um, you need to have some kind of reflection and you can also cut down the opacity a little bit, just kind of like that. And I'm okay with that. I think the dolphins actually maybe should go even a little more down. And I think I'll take those dolphins and with a little eraser, really soft again. Uh, I think I just might smooth out the edges here just to show them that they're coming out of the water. And now let's see what we could do next. I wanna make an arch. So let's go back to the background. With the background selected, I'm going to make another selection of the water. So let's just do this, about like that. And Controller Command J, that copies the water. Deselect, Controller Command D. 
And I'm going to take that water now, and I want to move it way up over her arms, and maybe just right there where her hand reaches, and I'm going to move that right on top of her. In fact, I'll bring that all the way up, and I'm going to call that arch. So now with the arch, I'm going to go here to the Mesh Warp tool, and I'm going to start warping. I'm going to bring these points all the way in. Maybe I'll bring that over to this part of her hand. I'm going to do the same here. Be to right about here. And bring this in again. And then I'm going to take this one and bring it down. And I'll get a little bit of close-up as I'm moving these. And maybe like that. And maybe this one. Just a little roundness to it, maybe because that's right by her hand there, and something like that. And we're going to fix that all the edges later. And I don't like the way this is waving, so I'm going to pull this up a little bit this way. And I think we're okay, so I'll hit Apply. And let's look at it. And I'm still thinking, I think she has to be smaller. Like right around here. I think that's pretty good, actually. Maybe looking at them, so that's good. I should have moved the bottom, too, but I could still do that. Let's do... There we go. All right, so that's pretty good. Now I don't like how straight these lines are, so I'm going to take that arch and add a mask, and all I'm going to do on that mask is with a brush, and I'm just going to just kind of fade different spots out. Like, I don't want it to be perfect, you know what I mean? So I am just going to keep doing, maybe I'll just like wave some in. I think I'm going to bring my opacity back up. My brush should be soft, not a hard brush. And I'm going to kind of make a little like, that's too much. I'm going to just go a little bit more. I don't want it to be straight is what I'm trying to say. It's too fake. It looks just too fake. And so I just want it to kind of like, I should even put splashes in there, but it's a beginner's tutorial, so I'm not going to do all the drops and all, because this tutorial end up way too long. So let's go see close up, and now here, I'm going to get, my, I'm using my left bracket, I'm going to lower this, and I'm going to try and get this to kind of fit in like that. I like that her finger shows, and on this side, I think she has a thumb here. So let's put the thumb out, soften the edges, just a touch like that. And let's get a close up. So I just want the finger out, I think like that, but I don't, I'm going to turn, hit X and go back to white because I don't think that this part should show so much. And then I'm just fading some of this out. I just want it to look like her hand is kind of coming out of the water. There's a little transparency and I'm okay with that. And I think that's pretty good. I'm not sure I like the sun being under, underneath. So maybe what I have to do, and I'm just going to try this. If it doesn't work, it's trial and error. So I think I'm going to grab the background and select the sky again. And I'm going to do Control Command J and then select, whoops, deselect Control Command D. Then I'm going to do is arrange, flip vertically. I'm going to see if I can get the sun over right there, which I think is really much nicer. So now I can just move this down a little bit and bring this up like that. So the sun is higher up. And I think I like that better because then the sun is reflecting off of there. Maybe I'll bring this even down a little bit more and then mask it. And then with the mask, with a brush and in black, I don't have much to work with, to be honest with you. So actually, maybe I'll bring it even down more so I could see where I'm at. Select the mask and start just kind of giving it a little bit of a... I'm just waving it a little bit. There you go. All right, so not, I like that. I'm okay with that now. The girl does not look right. I think she needs to get a little level adjustment. So let's go to adjustments on the girl and do 
Actually, maybe I'll do curves. I like curves better. And I'm just going to pull her down just a touch. I think something like that is better. All right, and this, because of the streaks, I think we need to give it a blur. So I'm just going to do effects, Gaussian blur, and preserve alpha, which means there's no edges. And I'm just going to blur it so it smooths it all out. And the last, well, not the last thing. Now we should go to the top layer and do layer merged visible. And that gives us a whole new set. That means all of this is not here anymore. And I can actually take all of this and group it and turn it off. So now you see that that's all that's there is this photo. And I'm going to do a gradient overlay. So let's open up my adjustments and do gradient overlay if I can find it. Oh, I wish they were in alphabetical order. I really, I don't even understand this. Where is it? Right in front of me. There it is. Gradient map. I apologize. Gradient map. And gradient map, you pick your darks, your midtones, and your high. And so what I'm going to do is pick them from the photo. So what I want to do is I want to turn the gradient map off, even though it's still all on here, so I can see the thing. So now red is my dark color. So I'm going to choose a dark color from this photo like that. And then I say, this is a, uh, clicking like this is just like clicking OK. And that shows that. Now I go back here. I'm going to choose a mid color. And I think I'm going to choose her skin color, one of these color skins. And say OK. And then I'm going to go to this. And I need a very, the lightest color I could kind of find in here. Let's see, up here by the sky. I'm thinking that. And then OK. And then I'm going to turn this back on. It really looks horrible. What I have to do now is select that map, gradient map, and say overlay or soft light. I could choose whichever one I like. I'm not sure. I think maybe soft light is pretty good. And if you don't like it, you can lower it a little bit. But I think that kind of works. And the last thing I think we'll do now is we're going to get some text and type dolphin. Actually, maybe I'll just go dolphin called Nanum Pen Script or something. N A N U M uh, Pen Script. I kind of liked it. So I'm going to use that one. So let's pick a spot for it. Call it dolphin. Then I'll duplicate it, bring it straight down. And I should have centered it. So let's leave it centered there. And then I type love. And maybe bring it down just a bit more. And I'm going to do one more thing. I think actually I like it this way, but I'm going to try one last thing. Let's just once again on the top layer and then say layer merge visible. So now we have a brand new visible layer and maybe on that one we can do a levels or a curves adjustment. Let's do curves adjustment and just make it brighten up a little bit and give it a little bit of interest I think. Just slightly. It's so slight. It's crazy. And I think that's it. Uh, you can do so much more. Believe me, you can do you can do water drops up here. You can, in fact, I don't even like the way this edge came out. I should fix it. But for this tutorial, I'm letting it go. You can do water drops. You can have drops falling down here, which is probably the way to go. But this tutorial will be just way too long. And I wanted to keep it simple enough for a beginner to use. So I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you find it useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe. Hey, and leave me some comments on YouTube because I always answer my comments and I love hearing from you and have a great day. Bye.